Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. Autumn. And Zane. And today we are reviewing the latest Ever After High Doll, Crystal Winter, daughter of the Snow Queen. So this is the first commercially available new Ever After High character from this current wave. She is available on Amazon.com for $19.99. Uh, here she is in box. As you can see, her packaging is pretty much identical to the other Epic Winter Girls. So we're gonna go ahead and give you guys a closer look. All right, so here is the back of Crystal Winter's box. Uh, as with the other girls, the top of the box has a brief little blurb um, summarizing the Epic Winter movie. And here is a closer look at her bio. If you'd like to read it in full, go ahead and pause right here. All right, so one thing that distinguishes her from the rest of the line, um, she is a special edition doll, which probably means this is her only release and you would have to get her in this current state and that's it. <laughs> um, one thing we should mention that within the box, she does not come with any stands or brush. She is like the other girls, um, just the doll. That's all you're getting. Okay, so here is Crystal out of box. She has a very light pinkish purplish skin tone. It's kind of similar to Kitty. Kitty's? Is yeah, it? I guess I can see that. Yes. Maybe I had a lot of that purple compound left over. Yeah. Who knows? And she has a little crown on the top of her head. Um, that has ice crystals all throughout. It's mostly a shimmery white aside from those two light blue sections on either side and her hair is if you're a Monster High fan, it's very similar to Twyla's. It's a minty blue green with some violet purples in there. So how her hair is set up is um, her her main color is white, but it looks like they added purple and um, mint highlights to it. Um, from just looking at her box, you really don't see the white because of all the highlights in her hair. But I think her base color is white. Yeah, the highlights are pretty overpowering, so... It's it's pretty cute. I like... Um, I, actually, I didn't even notice until I saw her in person, but yeah, she has some, um, like some pure white um, in her hair as well, which is kind of a cool little addition. Okay, so Crystal comes with purple eyeshadow on her top lid, and it looks like um, a shiny turquoise mint color um, for the eyeshadow underneath. And kind of like Justine Dancer, she has a little bit of glitter on her upper eyelids. I'm not sure how clearly you guys can see it, but there's some glitter up there. And she has those classic brown eyebrows that Mattel seems to be obsessed with. It doesn't make any sense. So her collar is it's like a minty blue fur mm. and her top is a metallic purple. Um, it reminds me a lot of Ghoul's Rule Abby Abominable. It's like the same material, just a different color. It reminds me a lot of reptilian beanie babies. <laughs> that shiny material they used to make everything look cool back in the 90s. I was gonna say, I like how the, there's, she has fur cuffs in the same color as her collar. Yeah. It makes for a cute top. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so her midsection comes with a um, sparkly, almost like tinsel material. But, um, it's blue in color, but it looks like they overlaid it with another tinsel layer. That's kind of like a sparkly, um, it's a little iridescent. iridescent. Yeah, it's a little iridescent. Yeah. The crinkly paper. It, it's fairly cheap, but it looks really cool. In yeah, person. in photographs, I'm sure it will look amazing. Um, but yeah, it is pretty cheap. It reminds me quite a bit of um, that, like, that crinkly paper that you shove in like Christmas gifts that you can find at like the dollar store. <laughs> like tissue paper. Yeah. <laughs> she has a purple and blue skirt. Uh, once again, keep in mind that this her whole outfit is one piece. Um, so while we say skirt, it's actually 
one piece with her top, so I guess like a dress. The skirt has a sparkly little snowflakes on it and it's pretty cute. Oh. Uh, yeah, um, I mean, in theory, I would love to have her whole outfit at one design. I think it looks a lot better than her non-pattern top. It's really out of place to me. What's interesting is her top is very simple and bland. And as where her bottom half is more detailed, there's more going on. Um, it's just kind of an interesting contrast. Um, I think her skirt has a pretty design, but there's a part of me that wishes it was just kind of a different material or maybe had like some fur. I don't know if fur would be too much on the end, but just if there was something going on instead of just like suddenly stopping. Maybe some lace or something. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Correct me if I'm wrong, wrong, but her skirt pattern looks really similar to Future Day Abby. So uh, much of this is borrowed from Abby. <laughs> it might be the same pattern, it's not the same material though. They're going for a similar, um, I think, Aurora Borealis theme where they're trying to get kind of um, like a multicolor tie-dye, like icy feel to it. Overall, while I like her outfit, my only beef with it is like, I, although I do always appreciate fur, I feel like the way they hemmed the fur at the front you can see you can see all the little places they stitched it together and it's just like a sea of hems and doesn't really look like a collar anymore so yeah. i don't know it's kind of messy but no you hit the nail on the head there and i'm this might be getting too deep into like sewing terminology for me to understand but it yeah it has this effect where it it looks like the fur is almost shooting upwards almost kind of like like a peacock collar um as where i kind of wish it were the lined fur down. yeah the fur were lined around her neck instead of kind of like spurting upward like that all right crystal is decked out in some little white boots that are actually kind of like a see-through luminescent white it's got some purple and pink shine to it and like the other epic winter girls, she has molded leggings. It's same design as the other girls. They're just like a minty teal. green, like teal color. She also has some pom poms on the boots, which are kind of like infused to the boots. So they look like little tumors more than pom poms, but. Yeah. Whatever, I would suggest painting those something a different color. I don't know, maybe purple. But overall, not ter terrible shoes. They have like a crystally look to them with laces from top to bottom. Okay. Yeah, like all the other Epic Winter shoes, um, there's a decent amount, you know, of detailing on them. It's just hard to appreciate because it's all one color. Like the other Epic Winter girls, Crystal comes with her own little card with the character artwork and some wintry themed artwork. And here is the back of her card. She has the winter rose. If you'd like to read it in full, go ahead and pause the video here. So Crystal's primary accessory is her little ice scepter. It's a glittery little icicle scepter. It's all one color, has glitter throughout. And the head is a giant snowflake. Yes. And she can hold it. She also comes with this cute little purple ring that has a silver rose in the middle. It's adjustable, so even adults can wear it. That's cool. So there's been a lot of comparison of Crystal's design being very similar to Twilight, so we thought we should talk about them. I think the most striking similarity is the hair color they picked out for Crystal's design. And this might have been negligible if it weren't for the fact that they also both have purple skin. What's the deal with that? They yeah. don't have any other skin <laughs> colors to choose from. Yeah, so one of um, my primary gripes about the Crystal Winter character as a whole is actually the fact that they chose this design over the pre-existing like Ice Princess looking backgrounder from Ever After High. Um, I don't know, I thought she was, in general, she was really pretty, and I think 
more unique. Um, you know, Crystal's cute, but it's just disappointing they already showed this really cool Ice Princess character and they just kind of threw in like an all new one last minute for Daughter of the Snow Queen. What's interesting about their hair, um, they're really, s God, they're really similar. <laughs> Guess which one from behind? Yeah, it's, um, I think the main difference is, yeah, Twyla, um, her, the mint in her hair, it's much like a darker, greener mint color. And of course she doesn't have any white. Definitely it is a color combination we've seen before. Yeah, um, Crystal is kind of like a, a fusion between um, Twyla and Abby. She has like the white hair, like Abby, that kind of mixed with like the colors of Twyla. I mean, one thing I do have to admit though, even though her skin tone, it's, you know, it reminds me a lot of Kitty. Um, I think it's fitting for her because it is a skin tone that does uh, give me an impression of um, like a frozen girl. You know, it's very um, pale and icy. It, it gives you, you know, um, a lot of association with like coldness and ice. Maybe like a blue skin tone would have been too much. Yeah. That would have, then she would have been a Monster High character. <laughs> so maybe you guys can help us in the comments because we're having a debate on height here. Um, I think that she's taller than Apple. I mean, she's definitely not by much. Sang seems to think that because Crystal doesn't have the big sister mold, like, like Duchess, like Duchess um, that she would be the same height as Apple. She just looks taller to me. And it's not just because of the head thing. Well, here, this is what I'm, I'm, I'm taking into consideration. Um, Apple and Crystal have the same body. Um, it's just a matter if their shoes might be the different size, or the heads are different um, sizes, but they have, they have the same body mold. Well, I think Crystal is a teeny, teeny, tiny bit taller than Apple, but in terms of optical illusions, I think what's really interesting, and this is a trend that I think is going to continue into the other girls, like Nina and, you know, um, Michelle and all them, um, despite the fact that they're revamping the faces of all the older characters in terms of, you know, the rounder face and the bigger eyes, it doesn't feel like they're really incorporating that into the new other character? new characters like it feels like the new characters still kind of have the um, classic the classic like more slender faces kind of porcelain doll look because yeah, um, the height difference could totally just be in their head because obviously crystal's head's a lot bigger yeah because new apple has um you know a really round head and as you know we saw in our previous video, her head is quite a bit smaller than, you know, Signature Apple. Okay, so final thoughts on Crystal Winter. You know, I think she's, she's cute. Um, I do, you know, from a standalone perspective, I do actually really like her face. Um, I like that she has kind of those nice, you know, peach colored lips and the glittery makeup. Like I said before, I like the icy skin tone. Now, one of the really disappointing things about this doll, though, is she probably had the largest number of accessory cuts from any recent release. She had a belt they got rid of, a necklace they got rid of, I feel like she had earrings at one point, um, and it's, when you see that in comparison, like what could have been, it's, it's really disappointing. Yeah, especially when it's in the promotional pictures like that are posted on Amazon. It's misleading. It's almost like they're tricking you into buying this doll and what you're getting. Um, it's actually not what you saw online. Um, I mean, one of the things, is the things that they changed was even her uh, crown was different. Um, paint job on is still different. Her skin tone is a little more glittery in the promotional pictures as well. She almost has like It's like a completely different skin compound color. Yeah, it's like, almost like, like a translucent, like glittery um, look to it. Yeah, um, you know, I mean, I know there's a lot that goes into like prototypes of dolls and sometimes I'm sure they have to develop um, the commercial promo pictures like way in advance of the actual release but it's just uh there's a part of me that wishes um i don't know 
they were sure they're closer to the final product before, you know, they throw their promo pictures on Amazon. Yeah, this is a conversation Autumn and I have had multiple times, like, <laughs> <laughs> Our hearts have been shot down by misleading, like, icy accessories from, you know, it was like, um, Geek Shriek, Abby, oh, you know, the, the, pro <laughs> the promo pictures made it look like, you know, she had this really cool, metallic, you know, ice accessories and it just, I don't know, it's really hard to rec recreate that in plastic, especially when you're trying to keep the budget low, so. Yeah, I mean, for me, Crystal is a, a, a miss. Yes. Really? Yeah, I, I personally don't like her. I mean, if I wasn't collecting basics, uh, I would probably wouldn't get her. She's so not on theme to me. Oh. Um, she's just, really? Yeah, she doesn't remind me of an ice princess. I mean, you just- I mean, maybe she's too casual. Mm -hmm. No, she just doesn't fit. Um, I don't, I mean, putting fur on her and little sparkles doesn't complete the look for me. I know they're, they're not trying for like the Elsa look, but I mean the other girl that they just on the show looks much more like a princess to me um, than Crystal. She doesn't stand out in terms of the other epic winter girls. You know, I I definitely can't say she's like ugly or unappealing or you know and anything like that. But the big issue with her is you know disappointing in terms of what could, what could have been. I think especially you know obviously you know heavily because of Frozen. Um, you know, the Snow Queen is a fairy tale that all of a sudden has a lot of prestige right now. So I think expectations were kind of high when there were rumors about, you know, Daughter of the Snow Queen coming out. Um, and I think Crystal falls a little bit short, but um, she is, you know, she is cute. If you're really into ice, you know, ice themes, ice princess kind of connotations. You will probably enjoy her, uh, just keep in mind um, that, yes, she falls in line with all the other mixed opinion new releases in terms of not having a stand and a lot of accessory cuts and, you know, things along those lines. My favorite thing about when I first started collecting Ever After High is just how elegant and regal they were. And I understand all the other princesses like Apple and Blondie, like they're all bundled up for the winter. But this girl, I don't know, she looks like a tourist in her homeland and mm -hmm. nothing screams very royal about her. So yeah. it's a little bit of a letdown. Uh, I mean, if I didn't have that in mind, I think she's perfectly cute. But mm -hmm. yeah, I guess I'll agree with saying like not super well on theme. I think in terms of being off theme, one of the things that I forgot to mention this earlier, like something that kind of stands out oddly to me is like her, her crown is kind of cute, but it, it, it has this like insect connotation to me for some reason like I almost feel like it's like moth or like butterfly wings or something like that like it's an ice bug Pokemon yeah so I, I I don't know there's a part of me that wishes it was like a different shape um because it just I don't know something about it is like buggy to me and also keep in mind that there is another um crystal winter is coming out and uh, I'm sure we'll review that one as well I thought you said this was a standalone so the other one is it's almost like a gimmick. She's not she's a buddy oh, doll. It's just like she a place. Yeah, right. she, she, yeah, she doesn't have any joints or anything like that. She's more of a oh, this is like a Barbie. Like a lot of people make comparisons to this previous Barbie set where um, it's it's pretty much just a doll and you like throw it in there and put glitter on her. I don't think they're gonna make another crystal uh, down the line, but I think it's a pretty uh, sneaky uh, marketing. Um, that they would include her pet in that set rather than this set. Again, this is um, this is <laughs> so her <bad>. signature <laughs> release, so yeah. you assume she would come with her pet. But yeah, they're kind of pretty much forcing you to buy that set, which I'm not gonna buy just to get her pet. Which I'm so mad about because her pet is really cute, and that's like main reason I want that yeah. weird set. All right, this has been our review of Crystal Winter. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to us for more. Let us know what you think of Crystal in the comments. See you next time.